time. Can't be on time. Doing too much. I'm saying we gotta work together more. That's right. Black men and women gotta work together more. We gotta work it out. Don't walk away. Work it out for the children so that they don't walk away when they get older. Because if that's the behavior they follow, oh, I'll forget it. It doesn't matter. Black lives matter. We matter. Black family matters. Black babies matter. Black family matters. And our next principle is Vijamaha. Everyone say Vijamaha. Vijamaha. It means cooperative economics. This deals with money. Uh, what, to build and maintain our own stores, shops, and other businesses, and to profit from them together. Uh, when you walk around our communities, uh, do an assessment. Uh, who are the businesses there? Do folks who the business we patronize, do they live in the community? Do they invest in the community? As many of us go to Starbucks every single morning, what does Starbucks do for our community as they get our dollars, a lot of our dollars, every single day? Okay. Uh, uh, I want to say, brother, just allow me, please, to be sharing, y'all. Okay. Before I come to you, I want to uh, definitely open up the floor. If there's anyone who'd like to, I want to make sure all voices yes. are included. Yes. Uh, so, does anyone want to speak on, who hasn't spoken yet, on, I uh, want to speak on cooperative economics? Yes. We must have. We had property drive uh, very nice, okay, to Fillmore. Yep. West Oakland, here in West Oakland, had cooperative economics back in the day, okay, before we started wanting to integrate. Once we started wanting to integrate, then we started taking our resources outside our own communities. Okay, I remember in the Fillmore where my dad had his own barbershop and everything else, and everything up and down Fillmore was all black on the house, okay, and also 7th Street was all black on everything from there on up, black on, black on homes and everything else. And uh, you know, she'll see. And then more, more, more of us had more of us had owned apartment buildings, not just houses. We owned different apartment buildings. I had a cousin that owned about four or five apartment buildings in Fillmore. Okay, that was Fillmore. Okay, so my things we had, but we gave it away. Okay, and like I said, and that's, that's the thing is we can't give what we have away. Okay, like I said, then we also have to teach our kids how to keep it. We have to teach our kids, our parents and teachers how to keep it. They sent us to school to get a better education, but not how to keep our own, not to keep our own stuff, but then our own how not to keep our how to keep our own houses. They didn't do that. They just tell us to get an education, do better than I did. The thing is, they went down us to do better, but then all of a sudden we did worse. We took what they gave us and gave it away. We sold it for whatever we wanted to move out to any guys. Okay. Now we can't move back to Oakland. We can't move back to San Francisco because the price is so darn high. We can't move back no more. That's what happened in my generation. The same with the Jews back in the Yeah. Okay. And, you know, the integration that they were going yeah. through, that happened in my town, yeah. and we, we kind of dropped the ball in my generation. Exactly. You know. And you never got it back. So, so my thing is, when we talk about, you know, fault time, the job, the left works, you got to gain that back. Okay, like Mike was saying, working with another car, just whatever it takes. I'll be there on time. I'll be there, bro. Come pick me up. I'll be right there when you go to the car. Come get me. Okay. I have a good friend named Mr. McAllister. I know mean, he's a carpenter. He does a lot of things around me. He's a handyman, also works for my school district. Now, my thing is, I met him years ago through my, through my sons. So they're, they're, they're good friends that live across the street. He's working, working on his house, doing the little things. I say, hey, can I help you? From that time on, we became good friends. And he'll pick me up. He'll give me some help. I go help him build, you know, right now he's building a, um, a studio apartment out in Pittsburgh. He's hey, I went out and helped him early this morning, and I helped him yesterday. The thing is, being, being, building up that friendship to where I can go and help you build something, you know, and not ask for nothing. But even though, oh, he's saying, here's something for helping me out. Okay? But the thing is, that's that, that's that man, that's, that's that cooperative works, that men come together to work with each other in order to, to build something, to build that relationship. Okay? Um, I just want to say, and supporting black like women, a lot of times us as African Americans, we don't support our own people. You know, we tend to teach our kids, and I'm guilty, materialistic things, buying name brand names when our community makes the same exact product, if not better. You know, and you're paying an extra hundred dollars because it says such and such a name. You know. And I learned from myself traveling the world just with fashion alone. I 
don't buy name brand anymore but just because it's the same material, the same product is made in China <laughs> and sold with different names on them by, with, with different prices. So I say that to say this, in our community, we have the resources, we have the influence, we have all of that. It's just a matter of us supporting us. And then don't be asking for the discounts. <laughs> right. Get back to that part right there. Just keep that part. Uh, my husband. Uh, 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 I have a plan. It's called Oakland Africa Town. I have a plan. I've written a book about building a modern day black town that will incorporate and encompass all of those concepts. And so we can do it 365 days. Uh, uh, right. Oh, sure. Right here. Sure. There it is. One amongst you. Yes. has delivered a prayer answer. Yes. One amongst you. I say it. I say it. So help me build this. I need 20 of you, and that's it. And then we can change over the next building. That's right. I've got plans. No, I'm not playing. I have nothing to lose. I've lied. I've lost everything. And one, one thing that's good to look at, I'm kind of echoing on all the, uh, what's being said in the room, is do Look at this research. How much power is in the black dollar? Yes. And how much money truly leaves out of the black community not being cited? That's a great best. And so uh, for a lot of people, they, they, they kind of start doing it in a predatorial way because they recognize that, hey, we get caught up in the glitz and gra gla glamour things. We want to overly pay for things. Yeah. And it's very interesting. Think about this psychologically. We tolerate bad business from other communities. Yep. And we oftentimes become overly critical of our, we hold ourselves to a higher standard mm -hmm. and we will run to another community to spend that money for a subpar service. Yeah. Okay. And something to think about when it comes and to- And also, brother, yes. we are the greatest consumers on planet Earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. At 1.3 trillion, we have about 98% back. And that is unsustainable. Yeah. This is a new vocabulary word we must put in the conversation. This is not sustainable when we talk about reparations. Hello? Repair. Uh, sustainable. Again, this pops up because it is a comprehensive plan. Okay? With a whole new design. A vision. Without a vision, the people perish. The people, we're a black people. They are no longer a people. They are persons. They're black persons. We're not people. We don't act in tang. Do we? Well, sometimes. But not enough. We need to be more producers. We're the greatest consumers. Right. Next time you see a black person, ask them this, what do you make? Hey, what you make? What you make? Oh, no. Hey, what you make? Huh? What do I make? Yeah. I, I see everything you've consumed. It's, it's on you. You show them. Like the speakers in the grill on the car. And everybody needs to hear my slap. Right? Ujama is family and cooperative economics. In Swahili, it is interpreted as no, that's family and cooperative economics. Your family is your economy. Everybody in the family should make something. What do you make? I make this, I make that, I do this, I do that. Do something! Stop consuming! I'm saying, this is a pep talk at love. I'm saying it tough and strong because y'all will take this. Run away. It's for your spirit, not for your person. person. Sorry, I may offend you. But this is a necessary mess. I need something like this. You want to help me build it? I got two masters in architecture. The first black man in this nation to get a master's in ecological design. I sacrifice my life to show you a demonstration of how we can do it. Huh? We can do it. Guess what it starts with, though? It's right here. Guess who's in the picture? You see him? Mom and Dad. Because guess who makes the baby? Mom and Dad. As Charles mentioned, it's that's the beginning of family. Ujama is family and then cooperative economics. Get the family right, get the cooperative economics correct. Right. 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 Right.